Howdy folks, I am back here working on my dream garden tractor build. I've been at this now for 29 days and every day I try to do something on this project no matter how little or how much I can get done. The next week is going to be kind of tough to get something done on this every day. So in order to keep myself on track, I'm making a list of things. Here, I'll show you. But we are in San Antonio, Texas this week for a little work trip and a little leisure time with the family. So hopefully you'll come along and see what we can get done both here and when I get home, right? All right, let's go hang around the Alamo. Stick dry, DIY. Well, it's day 30. No, don't worry. I'm not going to take away a bunch of our family or vacation or work time to work on the tractor. But instead of watching TV at night, we all just kind of sit around on our devices anyway. So I thought I can make use of that time and stay on this project. So I've got my list that I brought from home. I got my little office area set up here. Check it out. I had to steal the light from the bathroom. I uh, got my computer. Everybody else is all snuggled up in bed over there. So every night while I'm here in Texas, I'm going to try to get something off the list of things I need to get for this project. And today was the day that I released the splitter video where I added lights, LED lights to the splitter so that we could work at night. And I thought that is something that will really improve the visibility at night on the John Deere tractor. LED lights, because I know there's some LED kits that are out there. Three bulbs for the front headlight set and then two taillight bulbs. And it says it's the same kit for the 318 and the 755. So I'm just going to go ahead and get two kits. I've got more than one tractor, so I can use more than one kit. The lights on the 755 are terrible. Sweet. My order is in. I'm going to have a lot of stuff sitting there waiting on me for when I get home. So, okay, it's day 31. And one thing that experience has taught me with these small garden tractors, it's difficult to keep the front tires aired up over long periods of time without tubes. I'm going to do the safe bet and get some tubes. So tonight I'm going to order these tubes from Amazon. Well, it's not a lot, but it's something. Now I won't have to fight flat tires on the front. Well, today is day 32. We've had a good night. The girls got to hold a chicken tonight. So we've been having a lot of fun here at the conference. But so this is one of the things that's easy to forget about. But when you walk around the tractor and you make a list, you see these in the front. They collect dirt like it's nobody's business. It's the little rubber caps that go in the hydraulic ports. And I'm going to get a set of four of these. And done. eBay makes it easy to find and buy this stuff. Okay, well, it's day 33 here, and our work conference is officially over, but we're going to hang around for a few more days here in San Antonio. We're going to go to SeaWorld, but anyway, I'm working on my list. I technically already have this, but it's the wrong color, and so I'm going to have to get one that matches a little bit better. The one that's on there is green, and that's going to be a little bit clashy, so I'm going to been shopping for something else and I found something that's just right because it's of the right era. That's just a little bit more than I wanted to spend on that. Probably the right color and we'll talk about that more hopefully later on in this video but I just hit buy it now so. Okay well it's day 34 and we had a big day today in downtown San Antonio. Got to check out a lot of the sites. The river walk comes highly recommended but got back here to the hotel tonight and everybody kind of crashed and I was curious because I saw a lot more comments coming in about name suggestions for the combo of Brutus plus Bill. That video right now as of today has had 43,000 views by the way so thank you so much for that and we have had a ton of name suggestions. There were 67 different name suggestions mentioned on the video and I've went through all the comments and I tallied them all up want to read them all you can pause the video so some of them showed up multiple times that's just 67 original names the top name was brutal which is a combination of brutus and bill actually one of my daughters just suggested that so brutal had 13 times it was suggested frank is in frank and deer or frankenstein also had some folks suggest some colors and yellow was pretty popular at 10 10 suggestions at least for the color yellow even though Brutal has the most votes, I really wasn't looking to see which name had the most votes. I was looking for a name that inspired me. And of all the names that were entered, there was one name that got two votes. And when I heard it, when I read it, I thought, that's it. I don't know. It just struck me. I hadn't thought of it before, but now it has, it has meaning to me. So we'll get to that later on. But anyway, I want to thank all of you that took the time to do some name suggestions. I read every one of them. I counted them all up. And also, here's the totals. So... All right, day 35, 
and we had a great day today. We were, well, we hung around the hotel most of the day and just got out of the hot tub, but getting ready for supper here. I was thinking about the seat on this garden tractor. The seat I have is functional, but I've never liked it because it is as stiff as a board. There's no padding in it. So I'm going to get a new seat for it and ride in style. I'm going to try out one of these. I think this looks padded enough. This is pretty universal. I don't know. It's worth a shot. I got plenty of tractors we could try it on if I don't like it. So, all right, day 36. We just got back from SeaWorld. We had a fantastic time over there and we're in between things right now. And I remembered something that I need to get decals. I'm going to need new decals if I paint it, especially all the little ones that go around like the starter switch and the fuel shut off. So, all right. So that's one more thing off the list. I think I'm going to be all done for taking care of things here in Texas. Tomorrow we get out on a plane and head back home. So we'll see you back at the shop. We'll try to leave again. Okay. Our flight actually got canceled yesterday. We were supposed to be home yesterday. I actually spent some time last night in the airport on my phone trying to do some research on the drain relocation that I want to do on the engine oil plug. I didn't order anything because I wasn't confident of what I needed yet, but so there was a little bit of work done on the tractor, but nothing significant. Well, howdy folks. We're back. Today is day 38. I just want to open some of this stuff up, see where we're at on the project. That's that John Deere steering wheel knob. That's gonna look good on there. Got the tubes, got more trash. All right, so one thing I could do tonight besides just open a few packages because I've kind of been anxious to get back on this tractor a little bit. It's been on there a while. All right, well, that's one little thing, right? Tomorrow's another day. I'm glad to be back home. We're gonna have to make some serious progress on this now. Well, today is day 39 and I'm a little tired. I'm gonna work on the tractor through the computer. Here is your solution. Replace your drain plug with the Fumoto valve. So it's nights like tonight when I really gotta buckle down and continue this commitment to myself. Cause I tell you what, I didn't feel like doing anything on this tractor tonight. It's been a long day at the Fort Wayne Farm Show. Had a lot of great comments on the last video giving me some suggestions on what to do about my oil drain situation because it's going to drain all over the floor of the, or the belly of the tractor itself. I'd never heard of these Fomoto valves, drain valves. My only concern is that the flange is going to be too big for where I thread it on, but I bet I could trim that flange up if it is too big. They're expensive, but that would solve all my drain plug issues. All right, time for bed. All right, well, it is day 40, and uh, today was the second day of the Fort Wayne Farm Show, and I was there all day, so I'm a little wore out. I need to be able to paint this, and in order to do that, I want to get all this stuff out of the way. So I took off this brake lock, but rather than mask around this stuff, I'd rather have it completely removed. I'll have to mask around the serial number plate here. I couldn't get on that with a crescent wrench, so I'm going to try this line wrench. Oh, that did it. I have to hold the back side of that. I try to turn that nut, the whole thing turns. I try to hold it with some channel locks. So one of the cool things about the Fort Wayne Farm Show today was that there was a handful of Dig Drive DIY viewers or subscribers that stopped by to say hi at our booth for GNK Concepts. So that was great to get to talk to you. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi, and hopefully we'll run into each other again sometime. All right, well, that took a little bit longer than I thought, but that's the name of the game. We just got a little bit more done. Another day, maybe we'll get some more done here eventually. Day 41. And it seems like I have more small production days than I do big production days. And today is another example of that. And so tonight, I'm just trying to take off more stuff to prepare for paint. It'll make it easier to paint the frame. So there's one on this side. And there's one on the other side. I always like a pair of side cutters to pull out these cotter pins. They seem to work really well. The washer on there. There we go. All right, well that's a couple more things removed in order to prepare for paint. Day 42, it's a Friday. And uh, well, I got done with work. We ate supper and my brother is having a poker game tonight. So I'm gonna go over there and play poker. Not much tractor time, but this one I'm excited about because you guys suggested this, the viewers. This is that Fomoto valve. 
and I'm anxious to see if it's gonna work on this engine. So the flange looks too big. Darn it. It does, it is the right thread, so that's a plus. Now it's just gonna matter if this flange is too big. Let's see how big that flange is compared to that recess. <sighs> I was hoping that was gonna work. All right, I thought I could maybe just thread this in and I'd be done with it. If it was the size of that gasket, it would work, but the flange is too big, so maybe I can get an adapter that will lengthen it out. But anyway, don't have enough time. Gotta head over there, so. You know what? If I win at poker tonight, I'm gonna buy a new chainsaw. <laughs> One of these guys are the winner and it isn't me. Day 43, it's another slow day in terms of activity, but I wanna get this valve situation sorted out. So I'm trying to figure out how much room I have in here to see if I can get an extension on this. There's the bolt holes. So the edge of the engine block, the face of the threads would be about right at that five. So it's 20 millimeters from the, so if I threaded it in, that would be about where this is right now. So it really doesn't have room for any, hardly any extension. If I could get like a five millimeter extension, that would be the, the maximum. Shoot. This is the 15 millimeters. Probably not a good idea to stack gaskets. That would do it. Day 44, and I was hoping today was gonna to be a big accomplishment type of day because it's a Sunday, but when you know it, it snowed actually, and the girls have been begging about these things ever since they showed up in the shop. I couldn't hardly ignore that fact. So we took a little spin on the snowmobiles today, and that was fun, but that leaves me with not much time and not much energy really to work on this. But there's one thing I, I've kind of been doing long-term that I wanna try. I figured I might as well do it on cameras in case it works. Okay, so this rod right here is a feature of these hydrostatic tractors that allows you to be able to push the tractor when it isn't running. Because see, normally, if you try to push a hydrostatic tractor without relieving the pressure at the pump, it's gonna be very difficult to turn. You're essentially trying to turn the pump and everything together. This one is hard to push backwards. I'm able to do it, but it's, it's difficult. What you're supposed to do, if you have to manually push these, for example, if they won't run, there's this lever right here, and you push down on the lever, and it even says on there in a little sticker, you push down on this lever, and it depresses these buttons in the top of the pump, and then it allows it to freewheel easily. And what happens over time is these buttons don't go down inside. That's what's going on with these. It's hard to fix because the fender pan is normally on here and you can't get to these buttons. But I've been spraying these with WD-40 for the past month. And tonight I'm gonna, I'm gonna bump them. Okay, here goes nothing. I don't wanna get too rough with it. That one went down. Okay, they're going down. Now hopefully they'll come back up. If they don't, I'm gonna have to tear these apart. See what we can see in here. There's a plunger inside of there. My smallest punch is too big. Okay, here's a little four penny finish nail. That's it. Buttons up. I'm gonna try to polish that button a little bit. I was able to move it by hand. That's a good start. Oh yeah. I think the pressure may pop it back up. It may not have a spring in it, but the pressure will pop it back up. But it's moving now a little more freely. I'm gonna put a little more lubricant on there. Okay, that's working pretty good now. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in and do the other one. It's a one inch socket, by the way. Did I say that before? These are O-ring boss. You know, there's a groove for an O-ring, so they should seal up just fine. Okay, let's give it a try. There's where it should be in the stowed position to push manually, pull and push down. And it depresses the little buttons. Mission accomplished. Well, tonight is one of those perfect examples of how this strategy has really been helping me. I didn't have any interest in working on this tonight. And I'm only beholden to myself. When you make a commitment like this to, you know, do one thing per day, no matter what, you're only letting yourself down when you don't do it. And that's the way I look at it. Now I have all of you following along, so it's a little bit different if you're doing this by yourself, but I still, yeah, I would still feel a little guilty if I had sat in there and scrolled on my phone rather than come out here and just put another hour in this. And now I feel so much better that I did. 
that's time that I can use farther down the road. So we're gonna have a big day one of these days. All right, day 45, and I wanna do something about these brake pedals. They're, well, I think what has happened is this one is bent and they don't line up anymore. They should line up and you should be able to lock them together, but uh, they are way spread apart. And the other thing is, is the pin that stops them on the bottom here is also bent. So I either need to straighten or trade them out. And I've been thinking about what to do here. And I do have a parts tractor and I think it's got some nice brake pedals on it. I think I'm going to be way time ahead to just switch them out and call it a day. I don't think these will be too tough to get apart because there's just a cotter key on here. Cotter pin, I guess I should say. Holding these together. This has got two different rods hooked to it. Hasn't been greased in a while. Definitely bent. Can't have to remember which one's which here. Oh, uh, there's certain sizes. Doesn't seem like it wants to come off of there. This is the brake rod that comes through here. The brake arm right there. So I think if I take this wire off, I can push that brake lever out of there. Something's still holding it in there. Well, maybe it would be easier just to straighten this one. I was trying to avoid getting the torch out and doing a lot of banging and bending, but if that's not gonna come out of there real easy, that's a pain. And this one's close. I could, maybe I could just do the one brake pedal and tweak this one around to match, so. All right, I'm gonna go look at that other one. It's about midnight, I'm ready to call it a night. All right, day 46. Here's the fender pan that came off of Bill. This is not a donor tractor. This is, this is the old timer. This is my original 318 right there, the first one I ever bought. There's a 322 that runs. It's got some kind of issue. It's got the same powder coat disease that Bill had. Okay, I just came up the stairs. It's got another tractor up here. This is the one where I'm gonna get the brake pedals. Look at that, those are nice. That's the way it's supposed to look. What do we have here? All right, back to the shop. So I'm trying to get figured out what is my best set of tins. This is all, these are all parts and pieces that don't go with the other two tractors that I want to keep. That's my original 318 and that 322. So the reason I'm doing this is I think I'm going to take these parts, the metal parts, to a sand blaster and get them blasted. It'll save me a heck of a lot of sanding and filling the shop full of dust. And so I got to pick which hood I'm going to use. Check this out. New old stock. Not pretty cool. So I asked for this for Christmas one year for my folks because I wanted to fix up the old timer. From what I could tell in the labels on the box, it was built in 99 and shipped in 02. 21 years I've had this probably. I feel like I should hang it up or do something with it. I'm not gonna put it on this tractor because this tractor's not gonna be green. This one's a good one. I think I know which ones I'm gonna use. Obviously the hoods can't go to the sand blaster. They're made of fiberglass, but the rest of it, I know what I'm gonna take there. And I wanna get that going so we can move along with something a little more fun. Day 47, and unfortunately today wasn't a day to work on the tractor. It was a day to make some phone calls. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna take the, uh, the stuff to get sandblasted. So I worked on the tractor in that way today. You, I can't believe how much time is spent like researching, finding parts, ordering things. It's a good amount of time on a project. So check her off though. Well, it's day 49 and I'm trying to get things ready to go to the blaster. Okay, I think even though it looks worse, this fender pan is a better candidate than this one just because of the pitting and the cracks in the floor. All right, well, I think I got everything laid out that needs to go to the blaster. So when he gives me the call to say he's ready, I can load all this up into the truck and take it over there. I'm gonna do all the wheel weights because they all need it. I'm gonna do this fender pan for reasons explained. I hope I'm not forgetting something. I'm not gonna do the three point hitch and the draft arms and all that. This is, this is not a full restoration. This is just a refreshment. Well, it is day 50 and the sandblaster guy I had lined up fell through. So I'm gonna take this somewhere else on Monday once they're open, but I wanna get it loaded up. So I'm all ready to go. I spent the whole day cutting wood and that was much needed because we are about out. 
but this is definitely on the list. Every little thing just takes a little bit of time, so now I don't have to try to do that Monday morning before work. All right, it is day 51, and I'm out trying to find somebody that'll sandblast these panels on this garden tractor. I'm out here exploring in Amish country, and I think I've been directed to the right place, but I'm gonna walk in and find out if they'll blast this stuff for me. This way it all keeps it really local. I didn't have to drive to the big city to have this done. Here we are. There's the wheel weights. There's that fender deck. Well, I left my pile of parts here, so we'll see how that goes. Might take them a couple weeks actually, but it is what it is. Good, how are you? Good. I want to see about some paint options. Okay. For I'm going to paint a garden tractor. Okay. I'm trying to look around for the color. It's more of a, so I'm thinking more like a like this stuff. I don't know what I want. No, 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 no. So I'm trying to figure it out and I don't know what I want, but. How do you know you're in a small town? When you drive your bobcat to the coffee shop. All right, well, it's day 52. Yesterday I dropped off all that tin work to be sandblasted and it got me thinking today might be a great chance to kind of get things reset and organized. So I wanted to go through all of the stuff that was shipped to me while I was gone and the things I've been ordering, get it all laid out. I wanted to make sure I had all my parts labeled and organized the stuff I was gonna keep versus what I'd taken off extra tractors. And now I've kind of got an inventory of the stuff I I'm gonna use, got my new seat, that looks kinda nice. Got my rims and my tubes. These are hydraulic line plugs, LED lights, a Fumoto valve that I worked on, but I still gotta try to get figured out. A whole new decal set. When I ordered it, I just thought it was some remanufactured stuff. And these are all the used parts that I've got labeled. So now I've got a good handle on what I've got. I've got a few things that I still need to order, so that'll give me some things to do on slow days. But I promised you in the last video something. I promised you that I'd reveal the color and a lot of you are on to me, so I don't think it's a giant secret anymore. So in the world of John Deere, there's obviously John Deere green, the classic. I love it. There's the John Deere yellow that goes with the green that the ag tractors use. But there's actually another John Deere yellow and that one's near and dear to my heart too. That's John Deere construction yellow. And there's actually two different versions of construction yellow. There's the color that they had before 1992 and the color that they've had since 1992. So as many of you have deduced and reasoned and assumed, I wanna go with a construction yellow John Deere garden tractor. It's just been a dream of mine ever since I was a kid and something I've always wanted to try. Now I get that this isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea. I perfectly understand that. I'm not even 100% sure I want it. But like I said, if this is truly gonna be my dream garden tractor, then this is something I've dreamed about for a long time. And right or wrong, I'm gonna do it and see what it turns out like. So I don't know, hopefully I don't lose a bunch of you with that, but that's my thought process. Let me know what you think. Am I crazy or what? But there's still a green John Deere 318 in my future. Don't worry about that. But for now, this is what we're going with. I wanna thank you so much for clicking on this video. I know we didn't accomplish a whole lot here this time, even though it's been a long span of time, but we're just grinding away every day as we can. Thank you so much. I hope you liked it. And if I'm lucky, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. What do you think? New uh, dig drive DIY hat merch here? <laughs>